hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can get started with the wordpress onto your mac so for that we will be using the tool something called the map so first let me just download that tool map so for that just go into the browser and source for download map and just go into this first link from map.info so just click on that and since i'm using the macbook m1 so i will be going with the apple silicon so if you're using the older version of mac so just go with the intel so let me just click on apple silicon here so this should download the package for installing the map so once this package is downloaded let me just go into the finder and if i just double click onto this package so this should now open the installer so let me just click and continue just keep on pressing continue and agree the license agreement click and install enter the password of your mac so this should now install the map onto our system so here you can see the installation is successful so let me just close this one and we don't need this installer anymore so let me just move into the trash and let me just close everything from here and if i just go into the launch pad and source for MAMP so you can see the MAMP and MAMP Pro so since we will be using the free version so I will just click on this first one MAMP only so this has opened this MAMP here so let me just close this one so before starting the MAMP so we just need to change the port so let me just go into the preferences and go into the ports and change this Apache port into the AT so let me just click on OK so once you do that so just press on start so this should now start the Apache server so you just need to enter the password of your Mac so here you can see so it has automatically opened the welcome page of this map so now if i just go into the next tab and just type localhost so here you can see the welcome press welcome to map and this is showing something like this is from the file index.psp so let me just show you where this is coming from so you can see so this is from applications map and stdocs so if i just go into the finder and just click on applications so if you just scroll down so you can see the folder which has just created map so let me just go inside here and go inside this sd docs so you can see so this is coming from this index.psp so let me just uh move this into the trash and again go here and reload this one so you can see the content has been removed since we have removed the index.psp file so instead of this index.psp so we will be installing the wordpress inside this sd docs but before that so we will be uh, creating the database using the PSP my admin so for that let me just go again go into the new tab and if I just type localhost slash PSP my admin and just click enter so this should now open the uh, administrator tool for this uh, MySQL database so let me just click a new here and create the database something like WordPress click on this create so this should now create this wordpress database so once this database is created so we just have to install the wordpress so for that just go into the new tab and source for download wordpress and just go into this first link from wordpress.org so here you can see the options for download and installing uh, the wordpress so let me just click on download wordpress so at the time of recording this video 6.3.1 is the latest version so let me just go into the finder and if I just double click onto this, so this will extract this WordPress. So we just have to copy this. Let me just go into the applications and go inside the map, inside the SD docs, and you just need to paste that WordPress into the uh, SD docs. So once this is done, so if I just go into the new tab and just type localhost slash WordPress and just click enter so this should now open the installer so here you can just press an enter and so we just have to create the database name username and password so let me just click and let's go so here just give the database name WordPress which we have just created and just give the username root and password as well a root so you can see the root here and just keep this database host and table prefix as it is so let me just click on submit so just click on uh, run the installation so here we just need to give the uh, site title so something like you can just give a uh, code with origin blog or you can just give any name and give the username something like code with origin in my case so you can just give the username and just keep the password something like test123 or just give any password strong password so i will use the weak password uh, for now and you just need to give the email as well so once you do that so you just need to click on install wordpress so this is saying something like the wordpress is installed so we just need to click on login and just give the a uh, username code with us in my case and test one two three so which we have just gave uh, before so let me just click on login so this should now open the uh, back end of the WordPress here. So you can see, so you can just install the app appearances, themes, plugins, and so on. So similarly, so we can just access the uh, front end by just typing localhost 
slash wordpress and just click enter so you can see so this is the uh, basic uh, website which is generated by the um, uh, wordpress itself so now you can just uh, click on this appearances themes and install the themes which you like so let me just click on add new for now and here you can see so this is the basic uh, theme which is automatically installed by the wordpress so we can just do something like this extra so let me just click on install so you can just simply click on activate so we just need to install the starter template as well so let me just click on install starter template so i think so this has installed this one so now if i just go into the uh, dashboard again and again go into the appearances themes so you can just simply click on customize here in the extra and you can just simply click on publish so now if i just go into the front end localhost slash wordpress and click enter so this should now have changed this website into uh, this theme so now to change this so you can just simply go into the dashboard and just click onto these pages here so in pages so just go into this home page and click on edit so now if i want to change this home page uh, into something like uh, code with urgent uh, let me just uh, edit this one so let me just type something like code with urgent is an youtube channel containing programming contents if i just change this into something like visit a website and click on update so if i just go into the front end here and again reload this website so you can see so this has already been changed here so this is how you can simply install the wordpress and get started with the wordpress onto your mac thank you so much for watching if you like the video be sure to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one